This highlight video is part two of the stream. I advise you to watch the first part of this stream. I was waiting outside her door for her to come out, but it seems she always slept again. And noxious, I walk into her house once more. I still don't feel very comfortable doing it, but I'm going to play because of her. Besides, it's what a boyfriend would do, right? I walk upstairs to her room and set my book back down on outside the door. I bang a knock on the door, yet I'm still met with no response. Jeez, come on, Zayori, are you dead or something? Singing that wasn't a good thing. Wake up! Ah, uh, I guess I can't do much else. I gently open the fish to see her asleep. Fish you, fish you for that build up. You mean, and I quote. Yeah! Okay. Okay. That was yes. I was completely unprepared. You know what's what's funny? Something that I noticed. If you replace, if you just cut out the Y and the T in yeet, you get. Turns it and we all leave the club. Ah. Okay, bell bells. Okay, I should stop that. I should really stop that. Because... Yes. I know. A four? Sayori. You... I saw. Never mind. Thanks, Roman. She says, shivering. Here, take this. I say, talking of... What? Talking of my light jacket and hand, handing it to her. Hey, jacket, can you go uh, can you go off of me? Oh, sure. Yes, Roman. Whoosh! <laughs> so, here you go. I'm not taking off my jacket. I'm just talking off my jacket. Why? A four? A four? We're inside the building. Minatsuki sees us and laughs at Sayori. What happened to you? She asks after her laughter subsides. Sayori struggles for a second to make up an excuse. It's his fault. She says, pointing out to me. No one made me wait. I don't know if it's really that mod, but I know something about a mod, but I told it. If you say this, it's not good. Because I have to censor everything. At this point, Natsuki can hardly contain herself and laughs harder than a kid at the circus. Sayori, do you understand what that means? I whisper to her. She whispers back. What do you mean by that? I explain to her why her double intent 
got such a reaction out of Natsuki. Her face turns turns a pink, only rivaled by Natsuki's hair. Hi, hi, that's not what I meant. Yeah, sure it isn't. I tell you two to get a room if there's, if there was one without a teacher in it. Bye, lovely doveys. It's actually the second time I do this and say this with Natsuki's voice. Sayori buries her face in her hands, clearly embarrassed. I don't blame her, even if I, I get a bit right after hearing Natsuki's statement. <clears throat> well, if it isn't Monica, then it's definitely Sayori. We both head to our class. Hey, everyone. She walks up to me and pokes me on the nose. Boop. What? What, what was that? I pooped you, silly. What does that mean? Oh, this. She smiles and pokes my no nose once more. I gave up trying to understand her and direct us both to the couch. Well, what do you want to do today? Ooh, we can play cards. She pulls out the deck of cards from her back pocket. What should we play? Uh, go fish. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, yes. Go fish. Go fish. We going some fishing together, Sayori. I just wanted to be with you. Are you sure, Roman? Of course, Sayori. Even if I were to play this with somebody else who was good, I wouldn't have felt as great as playing it with you. You've always been the best part of my life. With that... She hugs me a bit tighter than before, burying her face in my chest. I can feel her tears running down onto my shirt. Sayori, I always be here for you. We hug for a bit until she finally pulls back. Um, Roman? Yes, Sayori. In an instant, Sayori's lips meet mine. Oh boy! <laughs> yes, my heartbeat starts increasing erratically. Is she kissing me? Boy, if you ask, then yes. A good tip. Every time you ask yourself, is the p the person who does this thing kiss if this other person is kissing me? Then just don't think it. It's the uh, it's a fact that she does that this person does it. And I say this person because it can be either a guy or a girl or the other two thousand other, other genders there are. I don't know. I only even think there are two. She pushes against my lips even further. Suddenly, 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 suddenly she pulls back. Oh my gosh, Roman. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. And then suddenly she goes dark again. <laughs> um, I wanted to say something else, but I, I, nope. We don't need... Yes. Roman, don't ever finish that far. You don't finish your sentences, so please don't ever finish that far, okay? I open the door to see Sarah laying in bed, room messy as ever. I walk over to her and crouch by her side. Hey Sayori, what's wrong? My, my head, Roman. Before I let her finish, I put my hand on her head. She's burning up! Oh god, Sayori, yeah, you are sick. Do you have a ther ther thermometer or something like that? In the throne, maybe? She points to her dress and moans slightly, probably from pain. I go over to the drawer and slide it open. The stuff inside nearly jumps out at me. I suppose a mess is no less than what I should have expected from Sayori. I rummage around, hoping my hand won't be lost forever in the abyss that I'm starting to long into. I feel around for what seems like a thermometer, and luckily enough, that's exactly what it was. Oh! Nothing other! Wrong! And you can put it in your body, especially in holes. As I said to Monica before, Terry, there are sticks, there are holes. You can do something with the holes or stick something in the holes, especially sticks. You can interpret to just think what that means, Monica. <laughs> As only sticks and holes, I break my bolts. <laughs> okay. Oh. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe for future videos. And until next time, you're the Erman.